Hey guys, Tales of Creed here. Welcome to a little new series that I'm making that's all about anime and stuff. Uh, if you watch my recent update video, I talked about it. And uh, we're just going to do a thing. Uh, a lot of when I talk about anime, I talk about it during uh, Let's Plays and stuff. And I really wanted to make it its own series so we can like share opinions properly and stuff and share your thoughts and how you feel about the show and i thought it'd be a lot of fun to do stuff like that just because i don't want to be like stu like super restricted to games because i really enjoy watching anime like i i watched like 20 anime a season i fucking love anime i want to make videos about anime but i don't like making formal formal reviews so i kind of just want to like ramble and talk about them so that's what i'm gonna do so this time on our first episode we're going to be talking about a pretty big one this season uh and for the last season it's a two core so we're gonna be talking about shokugeki no soma it's really cool when you say it like that <laughs> um yeah this show uh, is pretty big right now it's uh it's pretty popular uh basically you like you like shonen anime? I like shonen anime. Shonen anime is pretty cool. You like it? Cool. Uh, do you like food? If you don't, you're probably dead. So you like food? Yeah, you like food. I like food. <laughs> so um, basically, you got shonen anime. You got food. I don't even know like why it took this long for this to happen. <laughs> I mean, maybe maybe there's a series that has done this before, but like I've never seen a similar series. I've seen shows about food. I've seen shonen anime but i haven't seen food in shonen it's pretty cool um so it's got all the flashy stuff all the like basically you know if you take out the food it's a battle anime people face off with their food they make their special dishes they face off and then be like Phew, and they got all this cool stuff they got all the flashy clothes and uh just all this all that hype shit that is in shonen anime except they're making food it's cool. I think it's cool. And going into it, like, the first episode is kind of a shaky start. I actually almost quit on the first episode. And I want to get more into that later. But I do want to, like, start off with some positives about the show that I feel are positive. Uh, one of the big ones, and this is going to be kind of a big thing to talk about, at least for me. But I don't feel like this is talked about enough. At least... I don't really go around forums or anything and see, but basically what I really enjoy about this show is it doesn't limit itself. And I I really want to stress that because this, this show does not stick to Japanese culture dishes. And I think that's fucking awesome. That's like one of my favorite things about it is because this show can just like throw a dish at you and you're like, what the flying fuck is that? I've never heard of that in my entire life. And it does it constantly. There are way more dishes than... Th uh, way, way more foreign culture dishes than there are Japanese. And I think that's like the coolest thing. It shows that the author really like did some research. I mean, I don't know how much, is, how much of it is accurate. But I think, it, like, I think it's pretty cool because... Um, it not only goes into those dishes, but it also tells you the ingredients the origin and stuff like that and with that i feel like it really appeals to like a like a large variety of people because it can do that because this writer obviously put a lot of time and effort into like researching all these dishes and then was like bam i throw it in there and then people from all around the world can be like whoa i know that dish that's cool and it gets them interested. I mean, obviously, it's a shonen anime, so a lot of people are going to be interested anyway. But I just think it's really interesting how you can just go into a show and, like, not know, like, any of the dishes. <laughs> and then, but some people around the world do know those dishes. And I think that's, like, one of the coolest parts about it. It's just, that's one of my favorite parts. I think it's so cool. Like, people are facing off with these dishes I've never heard of. And it's like, whoa. That's radical. Pretty cool. That's one of my favorite parts about it. Um, but besides that, there is like a lot of facing off of people, a lot of cooking. Um, there's a lot of effects, like props to the animation team because they love using their effects. 
I'm trying to think of which uh, animation team was it. It was like JC staff or something. It was the same people who did like um Rurumo. God, that was that was an anime from a long time ago that no one watched. Um <laughs> the dungeon anime with the bad the bad dungeon anime with the cute girls. Fuck Hestia, fuck you. <laughs> fuck Hestia. <laughs> And, uh, I think they're doing something else right now, aren't they? Uh, Prison School! Prison School's one of my fucking favorite shows right now! Okay, we're getting off topic. See, anime ramble. Getting off topic. Um, but besides all the strong stuff, like, these, uh, besides the food, I should say, the, um, the characters are really strong. Uh, Soma in particular, the main character, is very strong. Like, he's not, like, super over-designed or anything. Like, like a lot of anime recently have just been, like, these really, like, bland, like, short brown-haired kids or black-haired kids or whatever. Soma isn't, like, far past that. Like, he's just a short red-haired kid, but he has these traits about him that make him really stand out-ish, and I think that's cool. I don't feel like you need to over-design your main character to make him flashy and rememberable or memorable why do i always have a problem saying that but whatever um one of the traits actually is he keeps a headband around his arm and like you always see it they always put it in front of the camera it's like one of the coolest things and then when he when he starts making food he's like Phew! takes it off it's a cool anime moment it's flashing across the screen he puts it on it's really rad i fucking love it like it's just one of those moments that like it it works with you. Like, you get all hype. You you feel the hype. That's what it is. You get hype. That's what I'm trying to think of. It's hyper. It's hypey. So, strong characters. Uh, Arina Naki, the best waifu. There you go. For people who are wondering, uh, she gets great later on. Not in the, not in the second episode. Don't judge her on that. She gets way better. <laughs> so, best waifu. You know I'm calling it right now with the shots. Um, besides that, I think like the only like real bad thing I, I think about it is like I feel like there's a lot of unnecessary fan service. Like especially with the with the first episode. <clears throat> yeah, the first episode is not good. No offense. I like it's cool at the end when he does the thing with the cooking. But besides that, like, a lot of this show has some unnecessary fan service. And I don't feel like they need that. I don't, like, I feel like this this show has a strong enough setting and characters where you do not need to rely on something like that. And uh, I guess with the first episode, they felt like they wanted to get people with that. But it's, it just felt really unnecessary. It almost made me quit on the first episode. I just didn't like it. Just wasn't a thing for me. I don't like fan service. I really don't. Like, especially when it's unnecessary. Like, for a show like this, when you have, like, such strong characters, and uh, you're, like, really into what they're doing, uh, you're, like, into these dishes that they're making, and, like, how flashy they are when they make them, and, uh, like, you get to learn all the ingredients and stuff. Like, there's a lot here... And it doesn't need to rely on something like that. But it does. I mean, I guess you need a reaction for when they eat the food. Like, they can't just go like, mm, Oh, it's so good! Every single time. Like, I guess they gotta rip some clothes off every now and then. Because when I eat some good food, I'm just fucking shedding that shit off. There you go, it's out. It's out the window. I'm naked. So there you go. But yeah, uh, Shokugeki no Soma is a pretty good anime. Um, but yeah, the, this series is just going to be me rambling. This is really all it is. And um, I'm just going to be talking about some broad aspects about the series that I that I talk about. So I don't see these videos being longer than like 10 to 15 minutes. And that's really all I really wanted to talk about with Shokugeki no Soma. I think it's a pretty good anime. Um, I feel like the first episode isn't a good first episode compared to the rest of the series um as you continue further though it does get stronger um you get to learn a lot more about 
the people you face off with. You get to hear about these this really fucking awesome setting that they create. It's very shonen like where Soma goes to school and he, he's like, I'm going to be the best. And you get to hear about these 10 people that are like the supreme cooks of the school. It's fucking radical. It's super cool. But lay off the fan service, please. It's really not necessary, in my opinion. But that's about it. If you are interested in the series and enjoy it and want to hear more, uh, let me know. If you have some suggestions or just want to talk about Shokugeki no Soma, leave a comment down below and we can talk about it. And you can tell me how wrong I am and talk, talk about how awesome fan service is, I guess. If you really want to. I just don't... Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but, yeah, let me know if you have some suggestions. I really want to work off, like, stuff I'm watching right now or seasonal anime. I guess I could... You know what? I'm going to put my anime list in the description. So if you want to check that out, you can just, like, see what I've watched and be like, Oh, I want to see you talk about this one. Because I like that one. Talk about Bleach. It's the coolest anime right now. <laughs> Don't ask me to talk about Bleach, okay? Yo, Bleach is cool, but we're past that point, okay? But yeah, if you uh, have any suggestions or feedback or anything, uh, leave it down below. I really want to hear about it. And, like, make discussions. Talk about Shokugeki no Soma. Um, I'll try to respond and we can talk about it and talk about how cool the anime is. And if you've never heard about heard of it, I suggest you check it out because it's pretty good. Um, I feel like it is, um, is a good thing to watch if you like food. Do you like food? Are you starving right now? Well, first you should go, like, make something to eat. Or, like, go out and get something. Get some Burger King. I don't know if you're into that. I'm not into that, but... Get something to eat. Go watch this show. Check it out. Thank you for watching. And, uh, we'll see what I talk about next week or whenever. I don't even know when these videos are going to go up. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.